Hey, what's up? This is Corey Wong. I am here to introduce the Archetype Corey Wong plugin. One, two, three. I'm so excited about this. Neural DSP and I have been working on this for the last few months. It is an all-in-one guitar plugin that can be used for recording or live. It's got my pedal board. It's got my three favorite amp sounds. It's got my three favorite cabinet sounds. I'm super excited about it. Let's get going. I'm gonna show you what we've been doing. All right, so from left to right, this plugin has a wah. We have the pedal board section that's all before the amp. We have three different amplifiers. We have an EQ section for each amp and we have three different cabinets for each amp. And then after, we got the time space continuum, where we have the delay and the reverb. Okay, so let's dive into each of those, starting with the amps. Cause this is kind of where you gotta have a good amp sound for anything else to sound good. The three different amps that we put together are the DI Funk console, which to me emulates my favorite analog consoles. That sound where you're just plugging directly into the console direct guitar thing. I use it a lot with Wolfpack and my own recordings. You could hear that sort of sound in a lot of early Prince recordings, a lot of the Nile Rodgers produced stuff, great sound. A lot of Jamiroquai records also had this sort of sound. Here's that classic bubble tone, DI funk console thing. <laughs> The default amp that you're going to see is the clean machine. This one to me is your consummate clean tube amp. This thing sounds incredible. We spent a lot of time just getting that crisp, clear tone, nice warm round top end, classic clean amp sound. We have the double stop preset on here, the clean machine with the compressor on, little bit of a darker EQ, but making sure that you're getting that bright attack. And then the third amp here is the amp snob. This is for those of you guys that are looking for that super uppity tube amp sound. This thing sounds incredible if you're used to using high-end tube amps. As far as the pedals go, the wah, is exactly the sweep that I want. You can double click to turn it on, or I'm using a Morningstar MC6 MIDI foot pedal where I can turn on and off pedals, but also change the sweep with my foot with an expression pedal. So you hear that full sweep. Great, super easy to control. There's an auto wah setting here if you don't want to use the sweep with your foot or automating it uh, manually. All right, next in the pedal board, I like to start default with the compressor on. It's a big part of my sound. Do I absolutely have to have it? No. But for me, I just like the sound of compressed guitar. I like the... It just has a thing to it. It has a certain thing, it has a certain squish to it, a certain, uh, a certain punchiness that isn't there when I don't have it on. So here's without it on. With it on. Preference thing, if you like compression, this is a great compressor. As far as an envelope filter, the Postal Service is something we worked a long time on to really nail the sound that I love to use envelope filters for. And a lot of it is that what, what, what sort of sound, almost synthy, kind of um, an upward Tron sort of sound. The 
tuber, it's kind of classic tube screamer sort of sound. Great overdrive, gives you that bite. Sort of uh, cranked amp sort of thing too. The big rig overdrive, exactly what it sounds like. Gives you that nice big rig. Sounds huge. EQ section, you've got three different EQs for the three different amps. It's great, you can shape your tone. If you want a little more or less lows, mids, highs, you can dial in a little more specific. As far as the cabinet section goes, you have these three different cabinets for the three different amps, which start defaulted as locked in, but you can unlock them and change different cabs for the different amp heads. Mix and match however you see fit, but we have them set to what we think are the, the ideal settings, or at least what I, my, what my preference is. Um, and then also you have different microphones that we have modeled here, 57, 421, a condenser 414, 184. You got a couple rib ribbon options between the 121 and the 160. If you have a, a certain mic that you like to use, go ahead and try that too. And then you can also move it more towards the center of the cone, more away, and then distance, closeness, or away from the cab cabinet itself. At the end of the chain is the time-space continuum where we have the delay and the wash. The delay pedal, exactly what it sounds like. It's a delay. It's got a tap tempo option or it can sync up to your logic session or whatever DAW you're using, or you can, tap, you can put in whatever you want. It can either be a single delay, which is in mono, or you can make it a dual delay, which puts it in stereo. I have the, the speaker on the right as an eighth note and the speaker on the left as a quarter note, which can let you do some different cool things. Here's an example of how I might use this in a pop setting. Here's just a generic uh, drum loop at 120 beats per minute and a kind of generic pop guitar part. Quarter note, eighth note. The wash. This is a reverb that we have crafted together, simulating the exact reverb sort of sounds I like to use. Usually on my pedal board, I'll use something like a Strymon Big Sky, or as far as a plug-in, I'll use either the Valhalla Shimmer or Valhalla Vintage Verb. This kind of combines the both of them and does a little of its own thing within that. So here's an example of how I might use the wash. As far as amp simulation and all that stuff in general, as far as pedals go, as far as plugins, that sort of thing, I've used the Fractal stuff, I've used the Kemper stuff, I've used a lot of different plugins to try to get a great sound. This to me blows all of them out of the water. I've used them all, I've tried to get my sound with them, and a lot of them are really great, but this one has a certain depth to it that I really love, and uh, part of that has to do with my relentless inability to compromise with neural DSP. And that's that goes to show their work ethic and their ability to help program and come up with something that really is incredible. And don't get fooled. This is not just for guitar players. I play bass too. I'm a bass guy also. I have a list of bass presets that I've made. So if you're a bass player or if you're a guitar player who likes to dabble in some bass, I've got some great bass tones set up in this presets list.
One of the cool things about this also is that you can try it out yourself for free. There's a trial version of this. Download it. See if this is something that inspires you. I really think these guitar tones are something that will be a part of your arsenal if you're recording, if you're playing live, if you're looking for a clean sound in your guitar rigs, if you want a variety of clean tones, if you want a variety of pop tones, this is the plug-in for you.